Hello, hello everybody. Welcome to Late Night Crafting here at the Comfy Nest with Grace. My name is Grace. I live here in North Dakota and I'm going to be sharing our Late Night Crafting session with you tonight. I go live every Tuesday. I mean, almost every Tuesday, unless I'm sick. Every Tuesday night at 9 p.m. Central, I go live and hang out with Crafty Chicks here on the page. Um, but doing the craft kit is new. Um, I've been, for the last couple of months, when I made some adjustments to the membership groups that I offer, I added a monthly craft kit to the offerings here on the page, and we are going to work on the craft kit tonight together. So I have it sitting here on my table. I do have the double um, camera screens going, so that's nice because you can see me, you can see the project, we can chat in the comments. Um, I just want to welcome you all here. So if you are doing the kit with me, um, there are a couple of dozen of you who purchased the kit. So those of you who purchased the kit, if you're creating with me tonight, give me a shout out in the comments and let me know that. Hello to Miss Janice. Hello, Mary. How are you, darling? Welcome, welcome, ladies. Thanks for being here. I appreciate you so much. Um, if you purchased the kit, I'm going to show you what the, the kit purchasers got in the kit. Um, and then, by the way, there are some more of these kits left. So if you're catching this live tonight or if you're catching the replay and you want to create this project, the demo will be done tonight so you'll know how to make it or, you know, the way I'm making it as a suggestion. And then um, you can purchase the kit and make your own. Okay. So hello, Miss Molly. Hi, Diane. Becca's here. Hello. Hey, girl. Hey. <laughs> Hi, everybody. Okay. So if you purchase the kit, you got a sprig of greenery. You got a little white clip for your photo. Um, you got a vinyl. Oh, happy day sentiment. And we'll put that on tonight. So if you haven't used vinyl before, you'll get to learn how to do that. You would have gotten a piece of paper that is cardstock and it's a double sided. So they would have two florals on it. So mine has yellow on one side and then blue, green and yellow on the other, but they're coordinating. Um, and we can use, I'm going to talk about this when we get to it, but you can either use one patterned side or both of them. I'm going to show you a couple of different options for the ways that you can use your paper if you want to. You would have gotten in your kit two surfaces, the burlap board surface. Okay, that's one of them. And then the other surface is a big pallet board surface. You can see it has the pallet planks on it. Um, and both of them have hangers. So again, you can, I always say, you know, buy the kit. You'll have the supplies to make it like I'm making it or you'll have the supplies to make your own variation of it because you could make this project using this on this alone as the sole surface and then save this for another project. The way I'm going to make it tonight, we're going to be using both and we're going to layer them on top of each other. Okay. So those are the things that you've got in the kit. Let's talk about what you're going to need outside of the kit, things you're going to gather on your own. And I sent everybody who purchased the kit, I sent you an email, um, and it's in actually in the description on the website when you purchase the kit. It tells you the other supplies that you're going to need to grab. Hey, Vicki in Oklahoma. Um, her Arizona go her Arizona family goes home tomorrow, so she's watching tonight. You're gonna to watch the replay too. Well, we we love that you're here, Miss Vicki. We love that you're here. Hello, hello, Janet. Happy Tuesday. It's late night crafting. Anne is here from North Carolina. Hello, Anne. Denise, my sweet friend Denise, I've been thinking about you lately. Girl, I hope your luck has been turning around. And I'll tell you what, girls, let me just tell you. Today has been a day. I mean, you're back. I'm so glad you're back. There have been a few of you who have had some Facebook, like, hacking. I mean, I don't know if that's exactly what happened to Denise, Denise but hacking issues, like, that you or trouble, like thrown, someone's, one woman said, I've been thrown in jail for 29 days. It's awful when we're just at the mercy of that happening, isn't it? It's just awful, but I'm so glad you're back. I've been thinking about you a lot. I hope you're doing well, my friend. Miss Denise, we're so happy to see you tonight. Okay, so let's talk about, hey, Kim. Hi, Kim Fogel. Hi, Lisa, welcome. Thanks for being here, sweet friend. Oh, you got hacked, Denise. I couldn't remember. Um, because like I said, there have been a few of you who have said this to me and I know the pain. You guys remember when my whole page was hacked for months, 
a couple of years ago. It is painful when that happens. Turn on your two-factor authentication. It's really important to do that because it, it's another layer of protection on your accounts. Okay, let's get into it. We're not here to talk about that. Okay, you're going to need a paint color. We are going to paint. I'm leaving this white. You could paint it if you want it to, but the way I'm going to do it, we're going to paint this. The natural wood is going to get painted a color, and I can't decide. I'm going to decide tonight between one of these two blues. So you're going to need some paint and a brush to, to apply it. You'll need your glue gun. I, I almost never use my glue gun. I almost never use it. So I'm going to plug it in so it's hot and ready to go. Um, so get your glue guns ready to go, ladies. You will need a photo of your choice. So I'll show you this close up. This is my Gannon. Um, we got a new surfboard uh, this summer, and this is him holding the new surfboard. Isn't he cute? That's my 16 year old. He'd be embarrassed if he saw me talking about him and showing his picture, but there he is. And so this is gonna go here with the clip. We're gonna fortify all this so it stays nice and strong, but we're gonna put that on there with the clip. Um, so you need a photo. And this one that I printed, you guys, I printed on my home printer. It's on regular printer paper. The cardstock will help give it some um, strength, but it's three and a half by three and a half inches. That's how big I did mine. You probably could do a four by four and you still have plenty of frame. Uh, you can do whatever you want. Remember, you can always do it however you want, for sure. You're going to need, I'm going to use a glue runner to glue him to the cardstock, his photo to the cardstock. So I'm going to use a glue runner. You can use whatever glue or tape you like to use. And you probably will need, I'm going to use a paper cutter to cut my frame, my paper frames. But if you don't have a paper cutter, just use a ruler and your cutting board or a ruler and some scissors with a pencil to mark off where you want to make your cuts on your paper. So pretty easy there. Um, I also grabbed, I know I have my blue, I'm really struggling to decide on colors. I know I have my blue paint here, but I may also dry brush with some white, which I, mm, this was a very last minute, just when I was grabbing the paints, I was thinking I may dry brush with white. So I'm not sure. We're just going to see. So actually, let's start with the painting because the painting, well, you know, the painting of the board, it's going to take some time to dry. So let's get that started first while we're chit-chatting the comments. I do need to finally make a decision. <laughs> so his, see, there's so much red on that photo. Um, and so what I'm trying to decide is what colors are going to coordinate best. I really want to use this yellow floral as the frame for him because there's yellow in the surfboard. So I'm thinking, you know, I could go really bold contrast or I have a lot of like this color, like a little bit more teal green in my house and light blues. So this would really match with my house. It's called Calypso. Isn't it pretty? I don't have a lot of it left though, honestly. I may have to grab my, um, yeah, I'm, I think let's just use this one. And I may have to grab, hang tight. I moved my glues and my, my product box that was right next to me to give me more room. But I could add some matte medium to my paint to extend it a little uh, and get a little bit more out of it because the board is kind of big. Oh, I can't even open it, girls. I haven't used this one in a long time. Okay, I have to say, I forgot to, um, hey, Kimberly, how are you? Grace is a glue gun. I know. I hope I don't burn myself. Oh, I started to say, it's been a day. Like, my computer, my big computer in my office, not my laptop here in this room, but my computer's acting up. I can't use the camera on my computer for, like, FaceTime or Zoom. I had a Zoom meeting today, and the girl, they couldn't see me. The girls couldn't see me because my camera's not working. So all afternoon I was chatting online with the Apple, because I have an Apple, with the Apple support people. Sorry for that noise. It sounds funny. All afternoon I was chatting with them. I'm like, good gravy. This is, it literally ate up my whole afternoon. So I was not happy about that because I feel like I got stuff to do, man. And poor Gannon, I was able to give him no attention. Usually we would have dinner together. Be on Tuesday nights before I go live, but nope, couldn't do that. 
he, I ate a sandwich, then he ate a sandwich on his own. Chris just came home. He had a sandwich. There was no family dinner tonight. <laughs> oh man, it's been a day. It's been a day. That's for sure. So I'm really happy to get to craft and create with you guys and get to hang out with you. I love that you guys are commenting. Hey, Patty Tumlinson, I see you. I do, I see you. Jeanette says, is this on Zoom? No, it's not on Zoom. We're live on the, the um, no, this one's not on Zoom. We're live together on the business page. All right, I'm gonna add just a little bit of the medium um, to try to extend that paint and get a little more use out of it. So I'm gonna mix that up and I think I'm just gonna mix it with my brush, which I don't always love doing, but I really need to paint this whole board and it's a big board so my brush can be pretty saturated with paint. It doesn't change the color of it at all. It just gives you more volume to your paint. So if you have the Liquitex matte medium, you can absolutely use it that way. Okay, do I wanna put something under this so that I don't get paint all over my table or am I gonna just risk it? <laughs> I think I'm just gonna risk it. <laughs> all right, I don't know. I'm gonna start with the front because I wanna make sure, oh my gosh, girls, that is really bright. <laughs> is that what I really want with his picture in the middle? It's very summery. Hmm. <laughs> I don't think so. Ah, I'm changing my mind. It's okay to change your mind. I give you permission. I'm doing it too. <laughs> Let's do it together. Maybe what I can do is do a combo. This one's too dark. This one's too light. I don't really have a color in between. So let's just see if we can make one. <laughs> because, listen, we, we do with what we got. All right, let me see. I'm going to try to make this camera bigger, actually. There, so you can see more of what I'm doing here. Got my little paint palette. I'm going to try... Ugh, now my now I don't like this because my my paintbrush is gonna get all goopy on me. All right, let's let's go to plan B. Uh, happy birthday gift card that was used up. There's nothing left to it. I'm gonna squeeze out the paint out of my paintbrush. And now I'm gonna make a big old mess out of this. I was trying to contain the paint to one place, but now I'm gonna use this to mix. Oh yeah. Already I'm happier with like, like a medium blue color, right? So let's grab some more of this light, pull it in here. Now I've got plenty of paint. I could cover the walls with this. Now. Yeah, this is way better, right? Let's do it. <laughs> I got this. My sister sent me a, an art kit. My sister, Bethy. Thank you, Beth, for sending me the art kit. It was a, I think it was a watercolor art kit, and I haven't used the watercolors yet, but I have been using this little porcelain tray, and it's brilliant because the paint cleans up, because it's porcelain, the paint cleans up, and you can just scrape it right off of here so easily when um, you're ready to clean it. Okay, I like that way better than that on its own, and I like it way better than that on its own. So let's see. <laughs> We're going to... We're going to try to recover this and see. Yeah. Yep, definitely. What do you think? Way better? That's what we're going with. I like my paint jobs to be kind of shabby. I don't like them super perfect. So that's what I was saying. I may come in with some white and do a little white dry brushing on top. But let's just get this done. The other thing is, sometimes I don't paint my sides when the sides are smaller than this. These sides, this board, it's kind of deep. Um, it's definitely over an inch. It might be two inches deep. So I may change my mind on that. I mean, if it was just a really skinny board, sometimes I don't paint my sides. I just keep it natural. But this one, I think I'm going to have to do the sides. So we're just going to paint away. I like that. I hope um, I have enough of it. Thank you. Thanks, guys. I'm glad you like the color. You have dearly missed us all, Denise. We've missed you, too. You're such a sweet love in the comments, and you're always so, you know, positive and kind, and you have such fun comments that you share. So I'm glad you're back. I'm glad. I hope it wasn't too much of a mess. 
getting everything back. I've had a lot of people too tell me recently, like when I say recently, like I'm thinking in the last few months, I, I feel weird when you guys can't see my face. So let's just, um, let's do that. So you can kind of see me, but more see the project. Um, over the last few months, there have been several people who I know through the page who have also had their credit cards compromised. It's such a bummer, man. Gannon and I have been traveling a little bit um, and Landon too. For We have busy summer with things. Oh, I've got a little bit of light blue in there. I'm good with that because I like the variation. Anyway, I've been a little nervous about the gas stations. You know, you hear about people putting their, their credit card in the gas station and then having trouble with that, like stuff getting taken, like your info. So when I'm out of state or like out of town for sure, I'm like, mm, I'm not sure about this gas station bit out of town. But what do you do? I mean, you need to go get gas. <laughs> you could pay cash, I guess. But I don't really roll around with hundreds of dollars of cash to pay for everything with cash. I've kind of gotten, I mean, it's just not the way we roll. <laughs> That's just not the way we do it. I really like, see, I'm getting a little bit of that light streak in there and I actually really like it. So maybe I won't need to dry brush if I just push in some of that light blue sticking out of there. Oh, I got a drip. I'm going to show you a couple of different, I'm going to, I have a couple of different suggestions for those of you who purchased the June kit, this kit. Um, I have a couple of different suggestions for you with the way that you can style this. Of course, you customize it with the colors that you want. And if the paper that you got, because you all got different sheets of paper, all florals, all double-sided, but they may be like, you know, if you got a yellow paper and yellow is just not your jam, I'm going to use yellow. I like it. But if you got it and you don't like it, use a different paper that you have in your own stash to do the same thing just with the paper that you like better and then save the other paper for some other project. So that's the nice thing. And like I said, you could totally skip this board altogether. Oh my gosh, that's pretty. It's an unusual color. Okay, I need to do all my sides and I don't think I have enough paint. So I'm gonna need to mix up a little more. Wow, that is vibrant. And look at it with the yellow. We got some pop of color there. Okay, I better mix some more. So, ooh, that glue gun is stinking up a storm over there. I can smell it. I'm not used to using a glue gun. So I'm going to put the board aside. We're going to mix a little more paint. Because I think I'm going to need a tish more. So I'm going to add a little bit of that. I'm going to add a little bit of this because I'm going to try to mimic just what I just did so that I don't, I can get as close as possible to the, the color. I know, Anne, it's a really pretty blue. I hope it encourages you guys when I'm trying so hard not to buy any more paint. Can I just be honest with you? I used to paint furniture. So I have a lot of big, I used to buy big like half gallon or pint size jars of paint in certain colors for painting furniture because you would need that much. So I still have some of that left over from like 10 years ago because I didn't use it all. Um, and then I have the little bottles from crafting, which I still craft. We're doing it tonight, but I spend a lot of time also paper crafting. So I don't need a ton of paint with paper crafting. So I'm really trying not to buy any more colors, even though I may see a gap in what I have for colors. I'm trying to just mix what I have so I don't have to keep buying like, you know, eight versions of blue. I don't have eight versions of blue. I have just a couple of them, but I can easily mix my own paint, right? As you see. So I hope that encourages you to do the same. Hey, Katana. We are doing the June craft kit, the June craft kit. And I can't even believe it. Like June so the craft kit, the way it's been working out, I introduce it on around the first of the month, usually the first, second or third of the month in the craft therapy club. I show it to them first and they get first chance to purchase it with their discount. And then after 24 hours, so the next day, if there are any of the kits left, I post them on the public site 
so that anybody else can buy one. So that's what I've been doing. Um, and then I've been scheduling the live demo, like the live workshop, the doing it together part um, during late night crafting, like the third, the third Tuesday of the month about the, I think that's what this is, right? So it's been working out really well because it gives a couple of weeks for people to see the kit, purchase the kit, and for me to mail it to them. It gives us three weeks to get it to you. Plenty of time. So if you didn't catch the live where I announced the kit, you still have weeks really to catch up, check the website or watch the replay of the kit announcement. And then um, we do it together during late night crafting, which is really fun. Okay. You got to go in on these sides. Now the sides are rough. Um, like this part's rough, this part's smooth. So you may need just a little more paint to get in all those little rough edges, or maybe you want that natural wood to show through. Totally up to you. Holy, guys, I'm telling you, that glue gun is throwing off a fragrance. I've never, I guess I never realized that when I was using it all the time. I don't use it that often and it's stinky right now. All right. Looking good. We're just gonna keep going here. I know this, is, I have to stand up. I know this is very close to you, like camera wise, <laughs> but we're gonna make it work. Sorry for that extreme close up. So what is everybody else up to tonight? Debbie, thank you. We just mixed this color up. I don't know if you're just coming in but I had two blues, one was too dark, one too light, and I mixed them together and created my own blue that seems to satisfy my inkling of what blue should be on this project. It's not fun to be able to do that. I really do enjoy mixing paint colors. Okay, I'm not feeling a real need. Um, you do you. <laughs> you do you. But for me, I generally don't feel a really big need to paint back here too. It's up to you. If you want to paint that, go for it. I'm not going to paint it because it's not generally my inkling to do that, number one. And number two, um, I'm trying to create this so that to demonstrate it for all of those who bought the kit and want to create it. Um, I'm trying to demonstrate it. So for the sake of time, I'm not going to go around and get all fussy about the paint job. Okay, we're just going to do the front and the sides here. But if you want to do the back, you can do that too. My sister and I are very different when we, we both love to craft. My sister Kathy and I. Beth loves to craft too. I have, five, I have four sisters. And two of them love to craft with me. So <laughs> three of us love to craft. The other two, I don't think they're very crafty. But anyway, Kathy and I are very different. Like she's very particular about how she likes her stuff and I'm not. <laughs> so we're actually very good for each other when we get together. Because she teaches me to be a little more particular. I teach her to relax. It's okay. It doesn't have to be so particular. All right, last side. And then we're going to go to the paper part of it. Look at how rough that is there. Now that does not bother me in the least, the roughness of it. Um, I live with boys. I've gotten used to a lot rougher than that in terms of home decor. <laughs> I think we have like flags on the wall in the boys' rooms. They have some unusual things, teenage boys, that they want to hang in their rooms. But um, if the roughness bothers you, get out a little sanding block or sanding pad and give it a little softening edge. Boy, what a day. I can't believe it with this whole darn computer thing. I said to my husband, I do not want to, I don't want to buy a new computer. Jeez Louise, I feel like I just got it. I got it a couple of years ago, so I don't know. In the world of computers, is that old for a computer? A two-year-old computer? Like seriously, I do not, okay, I have a little bit, see right there, there's a little bright spot. It's a gap in the wood, so I'm gonna make sure I get in those gaps and hit it so that your gaps are fully covered. Now, I need to decide original plan was to do a little whitewashing on here and if you want to do a whitewash over another paint color um, like a dry brushing it is best it's going to get crinkly because I'm going to open my my little Huggies white for my fingers um, it's best to let this dry you want to let this dry and then we'll do the whitewashing because if you don't, you're just going to get a new blue. <laughs> you need the blue to completely dry. 
and then br dry brush your lighter blue or your white on top of it so that that it shows otherwise it's going to blend into the wet blue paint and you're just going to get a lighter color blue <laughs> streaked through it which that's another look that you could go for but i'm going to let this dry completely while it's drying i think what i'll do is move it over onto the floor and then we can start working with the paper to cut it i don't know this here this whole thing there's a little bit of paint left here and if just in case i need a sometimes i'll throw this in my water bin and then i'll need another brush because i need to touch something up so i'm just going to put this aside so that if i have a touch up i have that close by to help me okay this i have very limited space so you're going to see me coming up and down i'm going to put it on the floor next to me and then let's grab our photo and our cutting mat or a cutting board because we got to figure out how we're going to frame this. So you have a couple of options here. Oh, really? Tamara says two years is on the verge of being old. Wah, wah. <laughs> I'm old school. That's not what I want to hear. I do not want to buy a new computer. Dang it. Hey, Anne, welcome from Alberta, Canada. We're so happy to have you with us. I'm in North Dakota. So I'm pretty far north too, in the US anyway. Welcome, welcome. Thanks for saying so, you guys who love that blue. Kim, you don't think it's too old for a computer? My camera's not working. I think it's too old to have that kind of trouble. <laughs> this person loves to craft, but she also loves to watch other people craft too. Me too, I, I, I do that a lot. When, like if I'm washing dishes or if I'm cutting vegetables for supper, I'll sometimes have my iPad in front of me and watch other people create. Thanks, Lisa. She's loving the color. Isn't that crazy? You know, just mix a couple of paint colors, girls, and you can come up with some really fun things. Someone's laying in bed watching. Well, I hope it's really comfy and cozy. Hey, Denise, how are you? My computer's too old or no way it's too old? That could take this two ways. We could read this two ways. No way your computer is too old or no way your computer's too old. Like either... Like there's no way it could be too old or no way it really is too old. I don't know which way you mean. <laughs> hey, Linda, how are you in Iowa? And Deb's here. She says, I'm just hopping on. Well, thanks for being here. All right, Gannon's photo. Now, here's the thing. You have two different, you have two different styles of paper. Okay, it's two florals, but they're coordinating. So you can see this is a blue background with green and white and yellow for the florals and then the yellow matches this simple yellow pattern on this side so they're coordinating coordinating papers so you have a couple of options here well first I definitely where did Gannon go I slipped under here I definitely am going to use a strip of this to outline Gannon. Now Gannon's photo is three and a half by three and a half. So I think if I have a four inch piece of cardstock around Gannon, that will suffice for what I need. So I'm going to first cut a four inch strip of paper. I'm going to show you a couple of different options here. And I'm going to cut the four inch. I have this white edging here and I have like that little hole from the paper pad. I don't need any of that, right? So I got to factor in the fact the fact that that's another half inch. So I need to cut a four inch strip first. Let's make this a four by four, right? Because the picture is three and a half by three and a half. So if I have a four by four strip, that should make a nice frame for Gannon. Let's do that first. I'm loving these pretty little florals. I'm going to make it a little tish, tish big. Okay, now you see I'm going to I'm going to glue Gannon on there and that will be a nice frame for Gannon. So let's do that. And I'm just going to use a tape runner. I'm going to keep it really simple. I'm not going to use any wet glue because I printed this on regular printer paper on my printer. I didn't I don't want to use any wet glue. Oh, my glue stick would really work well for that too because a glue stick is you know it's wet but it's not so wet that it's going to go through let's open a new one it's not going to go through the paper it's not that wet it's more like a gel so let's do this first and you can again you use either side of your 
um, you can use either side of your paper or you can use a different paper. You don't have to use, I'm not insulted if you don't use the paper that I sent you. If you're not feeling that vibe, that floral vibe. I actually did think, you know, for Gannon's photo, I mean, he's a boy. He's not probably not going to want to be surrounded by flowers, but that's what we're doing. That's what he's getting because it's my project. <laughs> it's mama's project. She gets what she wants, right? Okay. Another used card. <laughs> going to be my little flattener here make sure it really sits down nicely on there okay there's our framed Gannon and oh I missed a corner imagine that girls that little corner needs a little excess okay this is going to go in the clip okay whoop. okay so now this is going to go in the clip and it's going to get glued on but not yet now, you do not have to use a photo. You could put a quote. You could print out a quote, or maybe you have a cardstock quote from one of your um, paper packs. You know, some of them come with really pretty cardstock quotes. In fact, last month's project, the little color blocks that we did, some of these had quotes on them. Some of the paper that we, that from this kit from May, had um, quotes on them that would be what I'm talking about that you could put in there. It could be a picture of your dog. It could be a picture of like a location of a vacation that you take often. Like if you go to the beach often and that's your favorite place in the world, maybe it's a, a photo of the beach scene that you love so much. So anyway, it doesn't have to be a person, but that's that. Now, here's your option that I wanted to tell you about. This is a burlap mat here and I love it actually. I really do love the burlap mat. And I think that Ganem will look great glued onto the burlap mat on top of my blue board. I think that that would look awesome. However, originally showed you this where you're going to take this out and let's measure this. Oh, that's kind of hard to do actually. I'm gonna find something I can pry that with. I wonder if I have like a paint, paint can opener would be perfect for prying those up. Ooh, I wasn't prepared for that, girls. Um, I do have a toolbox in here, but I'm trying not to get up. <laughs> so I don't have to, like, leave. Oh, do I have my scraper? My big scraper, is that around? Yes, 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 yes. My big, like, spackle scraper to get these little pins up. Makes short order of that. So just stick it under. Go up to the sky. Okay, um, this I'm not going to use at all because I'm going to glue my two together. So I'm actually going to cut this off because it's getting in my way. So let's do ourselves a favor and just cut off that and remove the little plastic piece because we're not going to I'm not going to be hanging this one on its own, or at least I'm not. You can if you want to, but I'm not going to. Okay, so we can take this out. Okay, you get two things here and this you could save this as for another project it's a beautiful um and actually has cork on the back oh my gosh actually you guys the cork would be another option to put the cork that gives you another whole look i didn't realize it was cork on the back so it's cork on one side it's beautiful burlap on the other but the original intention was then to take your paper and put it here so let's let's get the paper cut down to size and we'll see what that looks like and then you can decide which way you want it of all the choices because you're gonna have lots of choices here I think I'm gonna I, I need it on so I put the yellow on Gannon behind Gannon so I want the other side I want the green side to show now so we're gonna cut it Saving all my scraps, so I got it cut the right width. And now I'll just make a little pencil mark. I do it the cheating way. I'm not taking out a ruler. I just do pencil marks. It's so much easier. Taking a pencil mark to tell me where to cut the the uh, paper. Okay. Now we don't even have to glue it. It's just going to stay in place. But you could glue this. To the backing of the frame 
but I'm going to stick this in here. It doesn't even matter which because it's one big, oh, wrong side, one big pattern. So you have the choice to use your burlap. You have the choice to use the cork, which I didn't even realize was going to be a choice, or you have the choice to use the other side of your paper, okay? Like that, and then Gannon will be on top like that. Actually, just for safety's sake, ladies, I think it would be a really good idea to glue this down because you're gonna be gluing that clip onto the paper and we don't want it to come, the heaviness of the clip, it's not that heavy, but you know what I mean? We don't want that pulling on that paper. So we better glue this down as well. My glue stick is a permanent glue stick. So I'm gonna use it all over the back of this to get it to stick on my mat. So use paper, use burlap, use the cork. You have three choices here. Or you could have, you know, if you have other things on hand that you would want to use, you can use those too. All right, I'm going to do a quick glue there. Stick that back in. Gotta get those little, those little tabbies to cooperate. They're not cooperating. <laughs> um, I do. Oh yes. Are you like me and you save every scrap of stuff to use on another project? Yes. This will all get saved. You know, I'm a paper crafter, so that's my jam. Okay. I will say this without having this in here, your, you know, when you put down your little um, black, these little black things that tabbies that are going to hold this back, there's going to be a gap of space and we don't want this to be rolling around in there and flimsy. So I am going to put this back in here. You do not have to use this. If you want to use this burlap cork piece for something else, then find another piece of cardboard, cut it to size and put it back here. But for the sake of time, I am going to put this back in because I don't want my paper to be flopping around out front. You know, let me get Gannon's photo on there. All right, now these we can push down. This is our top layer. How pretty, right? That's pretty. And Gannon's gonna go on top. I'm not gluing anything down until I get everything finalized because I, you, I always reserve the right to change my mind. <laughs> I'm feeling like that white is really bright and maybe I want to dry brush that with a little bit of the blue. Let's just see. I'm going to grab the blue board. It's probably dry by now and we'll, we'll start making those final decisions. But it comes together really quick, kind of. Hey, Shauna. Thanks. Thanks for being here. I'm glad you made it. Janice saying hello. She's saying howdy, chicks. From Lindsay, Oklahoma. Hi, Tammy. How are you? The paper, doesn't it look pretty? Oh, it looks like total vintage kitchen to me. Like it doesn't look like a wallpaper that would be in a vintage kitchen. <laughs> I love it. Okay, let's see. How well done. Oh my gosh, this is really bright now. Ah, it's really bold next to the white. Let's see. Okay, so I don't like that at all. I don't like it. And I know it's because the blue is too blue. I need to dry brush it with some white um, and then I'll decide whether to do something with this as well. I just don't, for me, the contrast is too much. I like contrast, but that's a little bit much. So let's get our paintbrush out. We're going to get some white paint out and I'm just going to dry brush this. I don't even have to dry brush anything on the inside because it's going to be covered. I just really need to get the edges and the sides. So that shouldn't take very long at all. Uh, where did I say I put my brush? Right here. Okay, and I have this blue, which I'm tempted to even dry brush the white frame, but let's let's not get ahead of ourselves. Let's just do one thing at a time, Gracie. Okay, we're gonna get some white paint. I think I'm actually going to use the brush that has the blue in it and make it, hmm, I'm gonna put a tinge of blue in it. I'm gonna put a little tinge of blue because I don't want it stark white but I can handle it being like a really light, light, light blue. Do you know what I mean? So I'm really 
using mostly white, but I'm going to mix in a little bit of the blue so it's not so stark. And it'll be a little different from the white frame that's going to go on top of it. So you see how faint that blue is? It's like super baby blue. I could even grab a little, little dab more of the dark blue. And remember, when you're dry brushing, you do not need a lot of paint on your brush. Right? We're dry brushing, so the brush shouldn't have gobs of paint. It should be mostly dry. All right, see how very faint blue that is? Isn't that gorgeous? I love that color. All right, let's try it. Now, <laughs> um, I have a lot of paint on here. I'm going to try to scrape a little bit of it out. Squeeze it out with my... Yeah, look how much I got out. That was a lot. Okay, I'm glad I did that. Okay, now I'm going to start in the middle so I can just see if I like the color variant. See, it's going to brighten it up a lot, but it's not stark white. What do you think? You want to actually from far away looking at it on camera, you almost can't even tell that it's not pure white. Your eye thinks it's white, but it's not really. It's like a light blue. And I think it helps just to add a tinge of the color that you were using underneath just to give yourself a little bit of warmth to that dry brushing so it doesn't look so stark. So sometimes I turn my brush skinny. So sometimes um, on the surface, I lay my brush flat so I get a wide stroke. And sometimes I turn it skinny so I get a skinny stroke. Okay. I just like the variety of them some skinny and some wide. I don't have to worry about the middle. I really just need to go on the edges and I need a little more paint. Whoa, whoa, Gracie, look what I did. Whoa, Nelly, holy buckets, what you do there, girl. It's okay, it's okay, it's all under control, I promise. Because what I do there, when I go too heavy handed, I'll just come in with the original blue because I still have a little bit on my palette. I'm going to let it dry for a minute. I'll come back to that. We'll just add some blue over that so that we can tone that down a little. And I want my sides to match. So I'm going to hit them with a little bit of that light. Woo! Got really aggressive there. Look at how rough that is. I like it. I like that the, it's like super rustic wood. But you get, like I said, smooth it down if you want to. Yeah, so I do have some more of these kits left. So if you want them, if you want one or two, like buy a couple and do one with your daughter or your mom or your niece or granddaughter. How fun would that be to sit down together on a Sunday or a Saturday morning and have coffee and create a little bit, do a little create time. And you just put my video on and kind of follow along or... Once you see how it's done, I think you're going to be feeling pretty confident to do it yourself. All right. Not bad, right? I think that's going to work. I'm going to cover this with a little bit more blue. So I think I better make sure it's dry first. Otherwise, it's just going to blend in with it. You like it? Oh, yay. Hey, there's Christy, my friend from Funky Junk Inspiration. How are you, friend? Thanks for being here, Christy. It's late, you guys. It's late for some of you. Hi, Donna. Hey, you're smiling every time I say, well, then Gannon is going to go. <laughs> His picture. His picture is going to go right here. The frame is cute with the picture. Yeah, I hope so. I hope so. Okay, I have a little bit. Do you have a tish blue left right here on the end? Oops. I don't want that to get my hand away. So I have a little bit of that blue. Okay, we gotta save this. This is just a little too intense for me with the dry. So look at what I'm doing. I'm just gonna add a little bit back on. Kind of dry brushing it back on, but it's a little more than a dry brush. The, the brush is a little bit more wet than that. All right, I'm running out of room, girls. We're running out of room on the table as usual. So I gotta make some adjustments here. I keep knocking that little paint tin around. Okay, so anywhere where you have a little bit too much of the color that you dry brushed, you can just 
come in with your original color and fix her up. Really not hard. Okay, let's take a look. What does this look like? Okay, that's much better. It feels much better. I am actually going to add a little bit more dry, white dry brushing up here in this corner. I want it to be a little more intense. So now we can really look at it and see. Yeah, even these, this, like, I missed this whole board right here. I feel like I missed it anyway. It doesn't look very dry brushed to me. I like that variation of color. And then let's... Okay, now I'm feeling good about it. I don't feel like I have to do anything to the white board, this second frame. Before we do anything, I actually want to get our vinyl down on the white frame. And this is another thing that is completely optional. You don't have to use the white, the, the Oh Happy Day, or you can. I'm going to show you the way I intended to do it so that you can see it and it's complete, like it's going to be complete. Um, so before we glue the boards together, I think it'll be easier to do the vinyl with just this board here. Okay. Um, for those of you who purchased the kit, I wonder how many of you have used vinyl in the past or if you haven't, I would love to know. I'm going to show you how to prepare it. And actually for that, I'm going to drop you down a little closer so you can see my, my hands a little better. In fact, let's just do this and make this screen bigger. There we go. So you can see exactly what I'm doing. You've never used it, Anne? Okay. It looks fantastic. <laughs> Thank you, Miss Jana. Oh, Kim's never used vinyl either. And Shauna, okay, there are a lot of you who haven't used it yet. So this it's great that it came in the kit because it's an introduction to how to use this. Um, some craft stores do sell, or you can go on Etsy sometimes and, and get vinyl letters, vinyl phrases for your projects that you can, or, you know, I have, I just put a vine, I just did vinyl on my mailbox because the stickers I bought on my mailbox to put our, our um, house number, they keep falling off. So I just did some vinyl and not only did I put the house number, but I put the street name too. So once you know how to use it, it is really handy and you can purchase these on Etsy or in some, some stores. Now I have to decide. You could go right in the middle, which I think is what I'm going to do, or you could opt it over to the right. You know, you could left or right. You can do whatever you want. You can put it here if you want. Do whatever you want, girls. I think I'm going to put mine right in the middle, but we have to prepare it. So let me explain this. There are three layers. It's kind of like the transfers. Um, I'm going to get a set of tweezers just in case I have trouble separating. And then you're going to need something that's firm. Um, not sharp, but firm that you can press down on. We're going to, we're going to burnish this. So like the, like the transfers that you can buy from essential stencil that are the florals and all the pretty trans, the birds that they have. It's very similar to that. There are three layers. There's the back layer, which is white and it's adhesive. There's the vinyl, that's the black lettering that says, oh, happy day. That's the second layer. And then on top of that, there's a third layer that is clear and it's called transfer tape. Let me see if I can get it separated and it'll help make this make more sense to you. Hold on girls, we're trying to do the separating with no, with no nails. There we go. Okay. So there are three layers and this is actually perfect because you're going to be able to see this really easily. The back layer, the white part, um, actually, I'm sorry, that is not adhesive. It's just like a shiny sticker paper. It's really, really shiny. It has a waxy film on it, the white part back here behind the letters. And it's just holding the vinyl, the Oh Happy Day in Black vinyl. And that, the Oh Happy Day, the vinyl is adhesive. It's actually permanent black adhesive vinyl. And then we have this front piece, this thin, clear 
piece. It actually comes with um, grid lines on it, which are easier to see over here. You can see the grid lines. The grid lines are coming from this clear vinyl sheet on top, okay? Before we peel this back, we need to burnish this. We need to push really heavily on it so that the black letters, they transfer from the white paper onto the transfer paper, the clear, the clear paper. I'll call it paper. It's more like a plastic. So what we need to do, when you saw that I peeled that back, it's not stuck on yet. So what we need to do is we need to push really strongly just like you do with the essential stencil transfers and you transfer them onto something. We're gonna push really strongly to get those letters to stick to the clear transfer tape that's on top. So you're gonna go down the line and press strongly on all of it. I'm applying a good amount of pressure here. Okay, now when I peel it back, it should transfer. If it doesn't, like, look, I pushed pretty hard, but that didn't transfer. So what I'm going to do is I'm just going to help it along. I'm just going to give that O a little push. See how it came up? And see, the second one doesn't want to come up either. It means I need to push harder. I need to do a little more, a little more hefty work here because I didn't push hard enough. I didn't get it to really stick down, stick onto the transfer paper. Let's try it again. So just take your time because you can put it back down. It's not going to ruin anything if you have to put it back down. And you may have to help it along like these letters. I just cut these for you guys so that I know the vinyl is brand new and it's fresh. It's not old vinyl. Sometimes when your stuff is old, the sticky isn't as sticky. But I, this is brand new. I just got it for this kit, all this vinyl, so that I made sure I had fresh stuff on hand. So you're just going to babysit it. You're just going to... Come in with either your nail or like me, if you don't have nails, you can come in with like a pin or a tweezer, just super slow. Like don't push it too hard. Sometimes what I'll do is I'll fold this because it helps it stay in place better. I don't know why it's giving me a hard time. It normally doesn't and I hope for you guys it's coming off a little easier but I don't want to pull it so fast that I lose my place. Oh, it's not stuck on my thumb. <laughs> it's stuck on my thumb. The happy is all connected. Well, no, the HAP is connected and then the P is by itself and the Y is by itself, but the day is all connected. So some of the letters are connected and some of them aren't. Um, so I want to take it really slow and I'll be uh, totally honest with you. Normally it's not this much work. Normally vinyl is not this much work. I don't know why it's giving me such a fit tonight. It's being a little bratty. So I'm going to put it down and peel it back like this. Now see, these letters are coming just fine. I don't have to do anything to them. Oh, now the D. I'm just going to push it down while I peel back. So we're, we're getting it to stick to the transfer tape and come off of that white sticker, I would call it like sticker paper. Oh, I lost my, I have a little period there. And I pulled it off too fast. So the little period, the punctuation came off, but I'm all right with that. I don't really need it. Okay, now it's on your sticky. It's upside down and it's on the sticky. And now we have to do one more set of transferring. We're going to put this, try not to touch your letter part. We're going to put this down on your wood wherever you want it. I'm going to just try to center it. And it does have little grid lines that'll help you. So we're going to put it down and we're going to do the same thing. We're going to burnish it again. I'm putting a lot of pressure, girls. You're going to burnish it. This is the transfer part. And then we're going to peel up the clear transfer tape and it should leave behind your black vinyl letters. Now what I like to do when I peel this back, I'm not going to peel and pull my hand up. Okay. Just, it's a very small distinction, but it will help you with have good success. Instead of pulling my hand up and getting a long strip that goes closer and closer to the, to the ceiling, you will probably have an easier time of it if you pull your hand horizontally. And I have the tape in my hand. I'm pulling this back and I'm trying to do it 
horizontally and I'm doing it slowly enough so that if any of these letters haven't been, you know, stuck down strongly enough on the wood that you can put it back down and burnish it again before you move on. So just don't pull with your hand going up to the sky. Pull with your hand going horizontally. And it should transfer right onto your surface. So you have, oh, happy day. It's such a nice little sentiment. It's my favorite. I love, you guys know, you who hang out with me all the time, you know how much I love that phrase. It's my favorite. It's not too difficult. You got this. And then you could take, like, take your clear or either one of them, either your white or your clear. And just, it's really smooth and silky, that clear. Um, not the side with the grid lines, but the the white side that was the, the really smooth side waxy side just give it a quick burnishing again to make sure that all the little parts are stuck down there that it just adds so much I think it adds so much and it's just one little phrase okay I have not all of you had this but I have this little plastic thing doodad on the back of my um plastic hanger and you need to have like a screwdriver which I have in the room like across the room but not with me so I'm going to try to use my metal ruler to do this and then we're going to stick our clip on we're going to now the hot glue comes into play we're going to be using the hot glue girls to me that's like pulling out the the big tools because I don't use a hot glue gun very often no and you got this girl she said that doesn't look too hard you could use a dental pick hey that's a really good idea those are pretty fine oh, we gotta get gannon some of those he just got his braces on and there are special dental picks for the braces and we went to our local walmart and they didn't have them so i'm like uh oh we're gonna have to do that shopping when we're out of town we're gonna have to try to hit a pharmacy that might have that for him i i bet i could get them online as well but He's very particular, like the, the orthodontist gave him a very specific type of pick to use to help him clean his teeth around those braces. Wow, this thing is in there pretty tight. It's making me sweat, girls. I've got a little, little hard labor here. All right, there we go. There we go. We got it. So that not necessary I'm just gonna put it aside okay this here um again if you wanted to you can cut that way down i'm not gonna worry about it i guess i can you could always get like a um, needle nose plier or something and pull those out because i think they're stapled down i'm just gonna try to cut oh not with those scissors i'm not i'm just gonna try to cut a little bit more of that there we go. <laughs> it's got like, it looks like it's furry. A little bit more of that fur. Let's try to get rid of it. And then I'm going to call it good. There. Yeah, there's a staple under there that you could pick out. I'm not going to worry about that. Okay, now let's glue. This is going to go in place. Um, I'm more concerned about the clip being centered and then you can stick whatever picture you want in there. So I'm just going to glue this down again. I'm going to use hot glue. My hot glue gun, you guys, it's, it's pouring out some, um, some gold. It's still, still giving me some gold. I used it. I don't want gold. Look at that. I certainly don't want gold to show up underneath my white I was using like metallic gold to make um, like those medallions. We're going to do this one after we get it glued onto the board. We'll do that because by then I hope I get all that gold glue out of there. Okay. I like that a lot. Oh, I can back you up a little so you can see better. The back layer is like a backer sheet for transfers. Exactly right, Mary. It's exactly right. Okay, the other thing is your sprig. We're just going to hot glue this down here. Now, I did grab for myself some jute rope. Um, I, I wasn't quite convinced that I wanted to put some on here, so I'm just going to do a little 
Mm, you could also could also wrap. No, I don't think I will. I don't think I'm going to use anything. I think I'm just going to glue my sprig down without anything. But let's just see if I wanted to do a little bow on top of it. I'm not going to wrap it, but maybe on top of it. I'm not quite decided. We're figuring it out as we go. You could use satin ribbon. I guess it depends on what your picture is, what paper you chose, what color your boards are what you know how you want to do yours um i don't want mine to look too girly because it's got my son my teenage my 16 year old son in the picture so he's not going to want florals and frilly satin ribbons you know if i hang this up in the house and his friends come over and then he's like mom that picture's embarrassing <laughs> you would be surprised what teenagers get embarrassed by it's like really it's embarrassing it's just a picture of you why is that embarrassing mom it's got flowers on it. I can just hear them now. <laughs> they don't have, the boys don't have the artistic eye that we have, ladies. <laughs> His girlfriend probably would love it. She got, well, Gannon doesn't have a girlfriend yet. Landon's girlfriend would come and say, oh, it's so cute. If I hang this up in my dining room or something and she sees it. But the boys, on the other hand, they don't have quite the appreciation for our beautiful little arts of work, works of art as we do even if their cute little faces are on them. Okay. Yeah, I don't, I'm not doing a bow. I think a bow would be really cute, just glued right on top of that, the stem, but I'm not going to do it because I think my teenage sons will object. <laughs> okay. Here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to put a boatload of glue on here. Um, this is going to make it permanent. Now, if you decide you want to take this apart someday, I am fully confident if you use a hot glue gun that you can reheat your glue with this, like get under there and heat, reheat your glue and then pop it off and, and then reuse the boards for something else. So keep that in mind. Um, do you really want it permanent or do you want to be able to take it apart at some point? I don't mind if the glue that goes back here is this gold that's been coming out of here. So I'm going to Oh, now it's clearing up. Woo, Nelly, and that thing is steaming. All right, before it sets too much. Oh, my legs are stuck to my chair. I'm stuck. This is short girl problems. All right, here we go. Pushing it down. Give it some pressure. I like my blues. I like it because it's really bold. Most of my walls are either white or they're such a soft gray that you can't even tell that they are, um, <laughs> that they're not white, that they're, you know, that they're gray because the color is so soft. So I've been doing pretty bold pops of color in my house because everything is black, white, and very soft gray. So I need pops of color in my decor, like my pillows, um, I painted a couple of chairs, like a really pretty blue, the wood chairs around the dining room table. Um, so I've been trying to add pops of color that way. That's really cute. And you can, so you when you do yours, you're going to pick different colors. I'm sure you're going to pick different colors, different paper. It's all up to you. This is going to go here. So there's that, another pop of color coming from here. And actually, you can see the tip right there of the boat. And it is this it's very similar to that blue. So it kind of pulls that blue in. I'm loving that. And then let's get this down though. Let's take Gannon off and we're gonna get this stuck down right there. I'm pretty confident I'll get it without making a mark. If you're worried about getting it lined up right, make a mark on your paper before you stick it down. But I don't get too worked about that. That'll go there. And I actually like things wonky. So I would, I would probably hang the picture a little wonky, kind of kitty wampus, like, you know, not exactly straight, but that's, you know, that's kind of me. That's just my wackiness. Okay. And then with or without girls, you have the sprig but you don't have to use the sprig. In fact, you guys, I don't think I'm gonna use the sprig on mine. 
I didn't want to use the sprig with the bow, but you can put the bow, you can put the sprig. But because it's my boy, I think I'm just going to leave it plain. But you have that option <laughs> to do it if you want. You got it in your kit. It's the same thing with the Oh Happy Day. You don't have to put it on the bottom of yours. If you have a stenciled set of letters or phrase that you want to stencil paint down here, you could do that. Or if you have a different set of vinyl letters, like a phrase that you want to put on there or someone's name, if it's a picture, you could do that too. So there we have it. You, I like it without too, Gia. I like it without. I thought maybe that, you know, it's a really pretty sprig, actually. I'll find some place to put this in my house. I thought that it would pull the colors of my green in this background. And it does. It's the same exact color. But I just think it's too busy. I think it's just too busy. And it doesn't really go. It's a really soft, like, um, almost looks flocked. It's not, but it looks flocked because it has a little bit of tinge of white coloring to it on top of the green. So it would really soften it up a lot, but mine is very bold in color. I have a very bold blue background and a very bold photo with that major red color there with him, with that board. So it just doesn't match the style of mine. But if you, you know, if you have a soft subject, if you have a soft photo that you're sharing, use your sprigs. Here's the sprig. I like it without. You like the sprig, Anne? Debbie, I hope you're right. I hope he does love it. I love it. I have to decide now where to hang it. Or, you guys, this actually is chunky enough. It'll just stand on its own. I could put it on my mantle. It's actually big enough. It could go on my mantle with my other stuff on the mantle. Yeah, Cena, I think we don't need it either, the sprig. I'm with you on that, friend. Jana likes it. So this is a good thing because, yeah, someone's a, someone else said I like it without the, the, without the greenery. So you have it if you want it. You don't have to use it if you don't want it. And then you'll have a sprig of greenery to use on some other project, which is nice. So nothing nothing in your kit, nothing in your kit should go to waste, right? We, we can use it on other, other things, even if you choose not to use it on this project. Okay, so I do have more of these kits available. Um, there are some of them left. So if you want to grab the kit, um, if you're in the Craft Therapy Club, use your discount code so that you can get a discount on it. Uh, if you're new to the page and you're just signing up for to get on the mailing list, you'll also get a 15% off code. You get a well one welcome discount code uh, for 15% off. So it's another way to get a discount on it. Um, so feel free to snatch those up and then you can come back to this video if you want some direction on how to create it. Otherwise, I think you get the picture. It's, it's pretty simple to put together. It's just more fun to put together with other people. Thanks, Mary. I'm so glad you love it. Thanks, Anne. You guys are awesome. Um, I gotta think. Somebody had a oh, are you loving your deck all finished up? Who said that? Jana. Jana. Oh, it's, I got outside by 9 a.m. this morning. Well, first I had to wash the deck. I told you guys the deck got every time I turn around, it gets dirty. We live in a highly wooded area, so this always bird poop all over my deck. It's gross. So I got out there and I hosed it out early so that it would dry. Um, there's already one. Okay. I stained the whole thing once and then I stained most of the top of it twice, but I still had a little section left. And I was showing the girls, we do happy hour on my deck every other week. And I was showing the girls and we were giggling about it. And, but it's been a couple of weeks. I got to finish it up. So I went out there today to finish it up. And, and the weather report was that it was going to be 93 today. So I was like, I got to get out there and do it before I'm sweating my patootie off. Well, I was sweating my patootie off. <laughs> Just tell you, I was hot. I mean, I finished out there by 11 a.m. Um but it was still pretty darn hot when I finished. I was I was really happy to get into the house where the air conditioning was running because it, it got really hot. So I got the second coat on everything. Now I just have to do the trim. I have to finish the trim. We have one coat all the way around the deck on the like the side walls. So I have to do another coat on the side walls tomorrow. But that is it's small like that's not a lot of area so it shouldn't take me long at all thankfully so i'm happy that it's it's pretty much done and it looks so much better because you could see the difference between the parts that had two coats and the part that had one so 
So, yeah, we did it. I did it. I did it. Cena, you love in the blue and yellow? I do too. It's blue, yellow, and red. They are very primary colors. But I like it a lot. I do like, I do like the way it turned out. And I got to keep in mind that it's my boy. I got teenage boys, so they don't want anything too soft and pretty. <laughs> Thanks, Anne. She said it'll be beautiful on your mantle. Oh, Jeanette. Hi, friend. Thanks. I hadn't heard from you. I wondered if you had gone to bed. No, it's too early for you to go to bed. It's late here, but where you are, it's not so bad. Guys, I have... Okay, so what's going on this week? Tomorrow is Wednesday. I'm going to go live in the craft therapy club. I got something to share with you guys that I wanted to let you know about to get ready for our next craft session, our next napkin craft session. Um, it's going to be a little unusual. So I wanted to tell you um, what, what I'm doing. That way, if you wanted to get the supply that you needed, you would have it. So I'm going to go live tomorrow for that in the craft therapy club. I don't know what time yet. I'll just send a telegram and let you guys know. Um, then on Thursday, I go down, I drive down to Bismarck and get Landon. It's like a three and a half hour drive, probably longer with me and all my bathroom stops. <laughs> but anyway, go down and get Landon from, he's in a, he's at the University of Mary at a wrestling camp. So we're going to do a college tour of the University of Mary after the camp lets out on Thursday. And Gannon is going to come with, you know, Gannon is going to be a junior and Landon a senior. So we just, it makes so much sense for Gannon to go to all these college visits too, because he very likely may, they're both looking, I think, at engineering is the thought. So they'll be looking both at, you know, at, at schools together and then Gannon will have a good, really good idea next year when he's looking of the schools that we've already seen. So Gannon's going to come with, I'm going to make him go to a thrift store. <laughs> Again, and I hope you're not listening in on this. I've already like, I'm already thinking, Gannon, we got to leave really early. <laughs> I told him we got to leave really early to make sure to get there on time. But I want to go to the thrift store <laughs> in one of the other towns because I never get out of town and that'll be really fun. So we're going to, we're going to hit a thrift store or two on the way there. <laughs> Poor child. He's such a good sport about this stuff. He really is a good sport. He always says, do I have to go in? Like he wants to wait in the car. And I'm like, yes, he's such good company. And he makes me laugh so hard when we're in this tour. So anyway, we're going to do that. Then we'll go on this, on this college tour. Then from there, we are driving another five hours south to South Dakota to go look at the South Dakota School of Mines, which is an engineering, engineering school. So we're going to go look at that. And we've never been to that area. It's far away. It's like eight or nine hours away. I've never been there. For as long as I've lived in North Dakota, I've never been to Rapid City, South Dakota. And that's where, like, there's a lot, a lot, a lot to do there. Um, there are a ton. The kids want to go hiking. There are a ton of, like, state park trails and hiking trails there. So, And there are some caves the kids want to go see. So um, we're going to take Friday. We have the tour of the college. And then we'll probably do one of those trail you know, a hike, if it's not too dang hot, we'll do a hike. And then we have Saturday, we're going to spend there to explore the area. And then we'll come home on Sunday. And that'll be a big day of driving. But that's the plan. <gasps> Kim, you lucky duck. She says, you're funny. My 17 year old nephew likes to go to the secondhand stores with me. I love it. I would love it too. Every once in a while, Gannon gets an inkling. Um, he's, he's like, He's a tech kid. So like, he'll be like, oh, mom, I'm looking for a new like extension cord for something, or I'm looking for a cord for this old remote control car that I have. And I'm trying to find the right kind of matching cord because I can't find the cord. So every once in a while, he's looking for something like that, a keyboard or a commuter, computer monitor, because he's always tinkering with stuff like that, the technology stuff. So he usually goes straight to that area and that'll keep him busy for a few minutes, but he doesn't. I'm always in there way longer than him. And he's such a good sport about it. It is going to be wonderful. And I don't know if any of you have ever been to Rapid City or you're near Rapid City, but it looks busy. Like there is a lot of stuff you can do there. A lot of stuff. So we want to see the, the monuments and do all, do all the touristy things. 
Oh, someone said when my, when we were, when my daughter was shopping for colleges, my youngest thought she was going to go to the school of mimes. <laughs> school of mimes. That's hilarious. Oh, Deb says, I used to live in South Dakota and I have been to Rapid City many times. Just so you know, the free things are sometimes even better than the ones that you pay for when visiting places. Yeah, no kidding. We are definitely going to do the state parks and sometimes they have a fee to drive through or to get in. And I don't mind paying that at all. You know, it goes to keep, you know, keeping the parks clean and healthy and having help there when you need it in the restrooms. I don't mind paying that at all. Um, so it sounds like my boys don't really want to do like, they don't want to do like a tour, a guided tour. Um, it sounds like they really want to do the, the hiking, which I'm all about that. And I'm, I'm, we're all foodies. Like we'll love to try different restaurants and see what's there for food. Nathan is techie too, but he likes to get ancient stuff to work. Gammon too, he loves that stuff. He absolutely loves it. He loves pulling computers apart and putting them back together. And <laughs> it's funny the things that they like. Yeah, you go girl, Cita says. Oh, uh, what a mom I am, right? Denise, I'm going to force them to go to the store with me. <laughs> I'm going to force them. I'm looking for books and I look for doilies, like lace and doilies and just crafting stuff, right? He's, he looks at the technology. He looks at like, he does go look at the furniture and stuff like that. The tools. <laughs> it's going to be fun. All right, girls. No, we're still here. Okay. But we're just hanging it up. I will um, see some of you tomorrow in the craft therapy club. Otherwise I'll be posting some photos probably of our little trip in the telegram channel and definitely for Facebook subscribers, probably also on the page. So just stay tuned for the weekend. Denise says it's Rapid City is awesome. Well, I can't wait to go check it out. You guys have a beautiful blessed night. Go make your pretty little June craft kit. Uh, thanks for being here while I made mine. Um, and I appreciate you all so much.